you tell me a little bit about yourself? Where do you come from? Where do you live? Okay. Yes, my name is Suzuki, but I am now known as Suzuki Kitchen. I am a mother of five, um, and I used to work for a retail shop, Edgar's Group. So I was retrenched from Edgar's, and then I had to come out with a plan to make a living. So I decided to cook food and sell. I started selling food as a street vendor at the magistrate offices here in Lulikani, Palabora. So there I was specializing in African food. And after realizing that people like African food so much, I decided to build a site club. Susie's Kitchen? Um, the people that are working with me, I've got the permanent staff and the casuals. As I'm doing the catering uh, uh, services, because I'm doing catering decoration, we cater functions, funerals, weddings, parties, so on like that. So there are those who work casual. Mm -hmm. They only come when we, we have got a large number of people, but those that are working with me on daily basis are four. Okay, and are they all women? They are three women and one man. Okay, and since since the lockdown, what's happened? Because now you don't have tourists going uh, to the Kruger National Park. How has that affected your business? No, it affected me a lot affected me a lot but as a woman <laughs> as a woman you must come out with a plan um now that with the lockdown we were not allowed to cook we are not allowed to go and cater large functions uh, i had to go to the farms to buy some fruit and veg to sell the fruit and veg the people that used to buy food from me now they are buying uh, fruit and veg from me to go and cook for themselves. Wow! So, do, are do you still employing? Are you still employing people? Then, can you still pay them, or have they? Have you had to let them go? Uh, yeah, paying is now a problem because even though that they say we can open a little bit and. People take the takeaways. The business is too slow, uh, but we we try to survive. But it's so difficult at the moment. 
So, so uh, for you, Susie, how important is tourism for your life and for the life of your family? To my life, tourism is very important because um, I'm not only catering the local people, I'm catering people from different countries. Like at my lapa, I, I used to have a tourist like from Italy. When they come to my Zimba lodge, they do the village tour. They come and eat at my place. So they 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 pay money. So it, it, it makes a living. And even there at Litaba Ranch, with many in rest camp, I meet many guests from different countries. So I now, I'm now known globally because of a, a, a tourism. It's very much important. And tourism brings um, money in our uh, country and even in our community. To myself, it helps me a lot because my, my children also learned from me. They are now doing the same way they are. I even um, hired my my younger sister, I'm working with her, she is a chef. And to the community, to the community, it also helps because when the, the, the tourists come to my lab to come and eat, the nearby uh, uh, traditional dancers come to my lab to come and dance for the, the tourists and they get money. And even the women of our community, I, there are some women that are hired from our community that works for me. They are able to put a bread on their table because of the, the tourists. So if you could speak to the president or the ministers today and say, please, we need your help, what would you say to them? Sure. I would ask them to open the tourism because the tourism is flesh and blood of this country. Without tourism, there is nothing that we can do. Uh, tourism brings a lot of money in our country. Sure. If they can open the tourism, really, I, I, I think everybody can smile. Susie, what, what do you love about your job? Tell me why you love doing what you do. I love doing my job because I meet different people. I learn on a lot from different people. Uh, whenever... Sorry. Whenever I serve my, my, my clients, I also learn a lot from them. And what do you hope for the future? What do you hope will happen? I hope in the near future I can employ many, not only women, many, uh, many young men, because our our uh, uh, our youth today, they are lingering around. They don't have jobs. They don't have something to do. If the opportunity comes to me, I can employ a lot of young men. Like in my uh, decoration, I need young men to climb up there and do the decoration. So, Susie, if I was to ask you to say something that would encourage other women in tourism who are feeling the same way as you at the moment, what would you say to those women to make them feel better, to inspire them? I would say to women, perseverance is the mother of success. When you do something, you think of doing something, do it. Be committed and never throw a towel. If something that you have started doesn't go your way, please try by all means to think of something and do it. Like now that I have started selling fruits and veg, 
it wasn't on my uh, uh, schedule. But seeing that we cannot cook now, we cannot uh, make functions, that's when, instead of throwing the towel and throwing my hands, I said, let me try and get the vegetables and fruits to fill. Uh, what I can say to other women, really perseverance is the mother of success. That's lovely. Thank you, Susie. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the tourism industry, to your international customers and your guests? What would you like them to know about Susie and Susie's Kitchen? Mm, to my uh, uh, international guests, I will say, whenever you come, whenever they come to our community, they must know that they're not going only to eat the, the food that they are used to. They will get the, a variety of African food, uh, like we cook cow wheels, muroho. Muroho is the green vegetables, African green vegetables, masonja, that is mopani worms. Um, the muholi is the... <laughs> the uh, uh, it's sheep tried or beef tried. A mm -hmm. uh, lot of different uh, African foods they can come and taste so that when they go home, they have something to tell. They will have a story to tell that we were in South Africa, we ate this and this, and they, they will see uh, uh, um, how our community lives. Yes, that is all that I can say to, the, to my... Uh, uh, Yes. And does the your community appreciate tourism? Do they want tourism to come back? They appreciate very much. Like whenever the 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 community the the tourists come in the community, you will find that the young the young boys and girls they 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 wait on the streets. They want to see them, the white people or the, the, those tourists in their touring buckets. They want to see them, they wave their hands, they dance for them along the streets. So they are first to see this. Thank you, Susie. I really appreciate your time. Have a good okay. day, Susie, and I will be thinking of you. We'll get through this. Thank you. Bye. Bye.